So today we're going to do a quick review on the NB2 Miata. And so that's uh, model years 2001 to 2005. Um, overall, it's really very much the same as an NB1. Uh, most of the bodywork is the same. The tail lights are a little bit different, but they are interchangeable. Uh, a lot of people sort of prefer this look. So you see a lot of NB1s with NB2 tail lights. Um, the other significant difference is the front bumper and headlights. Uh, the headlights here have just a little more of a pointed shape versus the NB1s are a little more round. Um, again, this is a conversion that some people will do and you do have to replace the bumper as well as the headlights uh, because this does have a shape in it that corresponds with the, the headlight there. And because of these couple of small differences, you will sometimes also hear people refer to the NB2 as the NBFL or facelift because that's mostly what's going on is it's just some little aesthetic, aesthetic changes. So if we go ahead and open up the hood here, right on the top of the motor, you'll see one of the other really big changes for the NB2, and that's the addition of the VVT system, or variable valve timing. And the evidence of that is right here. This is the solenoid that controls the VVT, and that's run off of oil pressure from the motor. And then the solenoid here, the wiring harness, that will enable the oil pressure to change the position of this intake cam gear. So essentially it's phasing that cam gear forward and back to basically advance the cam and give you some more uh, mid-range power. So that VVT system runs off of oil pressure and right on the back here there's a banjo bolt and then that runs to a hard line down on the side of the block. So that's where it gets the oil pressure feed from, comes up through this tube on the valve cover and then goes to the solenoid. So when you are removing the valve cover, um, you'll just have to take out this one banjo bolt and then the valve cover will lift off and it'll leave that other hard line behind. Uh, a couple other unique points to the NB2 is they moved to what some people would call a coil unplug setup. It's kind of a partial coil unplug setup because you have two ignition coils here and each one drives one of the spark plugs directly underneath it. it has a tube that goes straight down on top of the spark plug and then it has a second plug that it runs off of the wire here so you can see this wire goes over to the back so this rear coil fires cylinder four and cylinder one and then the coil here fires cylinder two and there's a little short wire there going to cylinder three so it is a partial coil unplug setup, but it does fire the cylinders in batches, just like the other Miatas. So there's only two coils, so it simultaneously fires cylinder one and four, and then it simultaneously fires cylinder two and three. So really the ignition system isn't different than any of the other Miatas, except the fact that it has two fewer um, plug wires. Another unique VVT feature is that it has the cam position sensor here on the rear of the engine. Um, on the NB1s, it's on the front right here, but because it's doing that cam phasing, it needs to measure off of the actual camshaft, which is what's happening at the back of the motor there, versus on the NB1s, it measures right off the cam gear. Um, so the way the VVT works, the cam gear never changes position it's only the camshaft in relation to the gear. So if you measured it at the front, it wouldn't have any way of actually verifying the cam advance. So other than those things, almost everything else under the hood is pretty much identical to a NB1. Um, there's a couple of minor differences in wiring harnesses. Um, the headlights do actually have sort of a projector style beam and a separate beam for high and low. 
versus the other Miatas where they use a single bulb for high and low. So if someone is doing that conversion between NB1 and NB2, um, there is a slight wiring difference because you'll have to wire up two bulbs instead of just one. So because so many of the components are the same, I'm not going to go into too much detail uh, as far as the, the sensors and things in the engine bay here. Um, those things are available in the other videos. From here we're going to go to the underside of the car and take a look. So as we come to the underside of the car, again I'm going to keep this video a little bit brief um, just because we have covered a lot of details in our other videos and the majority of the underside of this car is interchangeable with um, other NAs and NBs. So we're going to basically just stick with the specific differences uh, on the NB2 compared to the other uh, model years. So starting from the front, um, all the suspension uh, is just basically the same as the other model years. Um, as we move back, some of these braces underneath, um, this one here, this is present on NB1s, uh, but then for the NB2 they added a lot of chassis stiffening. So the chassis bracing that's been added is this piece here, goes all the way around down to the back, that's all one piece, and then this additional bar right here as well. Those are both unique um, to the NB2 chassis. Another difference on this car is that this one is a six speed. Now not all NB2s are six speeds. Um, there were six speeds available in the NB1 generation as well, um, but it was an option. And one of the biggest giveaways when you look from the underside is you can see sort of this extra sort of ribbing on the side of the trans there. That's one of the ways, one of the easiest ways to st uh, spot a six speed from the underside. Um, the other way is that there's some differences with the fill plug and the drain plug. So you can see the drain plug right there, that 24 millimeter hex bolt. That's the drain plug, it's on the side versus um, on the, all the five speeds, it's on the bottom. And then the fill plug is going to be pretty hard to see. Let's see if we can get the camera up there. Um, but you can see it right up there. Again, uh, 24 millimeter hex plug right up there. And that's something to watch out for if you're doing this yourself. If you're changing trans fluid is there's another plug on this side. And it uses an Allen head in it. And it you know, if you're crawling around under the car, it's going to look an awful lot like a fill plug when you first see it. If you take that out, what will happen is it will pull out a shaft with it, and there's a little rocker arm on that shaft that will drop down inside of the transmission. And once you get to that point, you're going to lose, I believe, fifth, sixth, and reverse gears. And the only option is to tear the transmission apart and essentially reassemble it. So watch out for that guy. I always tell people the easiest way to remember this is that you do not need an Allen wrench when you're doing trans fluid on any Miata. So that will keep you out of trouble. But now that's on the, on the passenger side of the car. Um, the fill plug, the proper fill plug is on the driver side, just like all Miatas, um, assuming a left-hand drive configuration, depending where you're watching this video. But yeah, the left side of the car is always where the fill plug is on all Miatas. So we're going to finish up with a quick look at the rear end here. So again, all the suspension components, the differential, drive shafts, all of that is all the same as a regular NB and most of it interchanges with the NAs as well. So I'm um, just keeping this video a little bit short. We did cover a lot of that in the previous videos, so please check those out if you have questions about the suspension and brakes. Um, speaking of brakes, the NB2s did start to offer a sport brake kit. Um, I believe it was standard on 03 to 05, and it was an option on earlier years. 
So that's just something to watch out for uh, if you're doing a brake job or something. The, the pads are different, and so you'll have to make sure you know which one you have before you order the parts. Um, but realistically, it's not a major performance difference. Um, they're just a little bit bigger. So some people do the conversion. Um, I sort of feel like it's not worth the effort because the difference is so small. Um, really, it's, it's more of an annoyance when you're doing a brake job, just making sure you've got the right stuff. So I think that's about going to wrap everything up here on the NB2. If you guys have any questions or comments, please just leave them in the comment section. I'll be sure to get back to you. All right, thanks for watching, guys.